Form Next 2023, and I'm at the Raise 3D booth with my friend Derek. Hi, Joe. How are you? I'm good, Derek. Good to see you here. So good now, Raise 3D, personally, I have some experience with yes, because yes. I've had the N2 Plus. Yes. I've had E2 machines. Yes. I've had the Pro 3 oh. machine oh, and the Hyper FFF. And this, though, this is historically not something Raise 3D has usually done. Can you tell me about this new resin machine? Yes, that's true. We are bringing our new resin solutions here. So basically you see this is our latest DLP resin printer, the DF2. You said this is a DLP machine, correct? Yes. And uh, what are some of the features that you like about this? Why would someone okay. say, you know what, Raise 3D has a brand new resin machine. Why should I go with Raise 3D? So we first do the print and we here has a smart build plate that will carry the print. More importantly, we try to guarantee the mechanical property that is bought on the resins TDS. So a lot of people don't know that if you're printing something that comes out of printer nice and shiny, but you don't do a, a proper post-processing, you can lose 50% of its mechanical property. Oh, interesting. So that's why you don't really use that in engineering. And talking about the TDS, this is the properties mm -hmm. of the resins themselves, and you, yes. you mentioned traceability as well. Yes. It's very valuable to know which part of the process exactly. or which stage of the process the part came from, correct? Exactly. So we have to record everything like which printer, what's the light intensity, and which file, when did you print, and how many resin was left in the, in the station, in the feeding station, and uh, so many on. So you have to ensure the whole workflow is traceable and is a guaranteed result. It can be repeated time and time. So as always, Good. we're trying to bring an open ecosystem where we try our best to bring the affordable and really performance balanced options for majority of our customers and bringing our OIP program, you know that, right now it's have been elevated into ORP program. It's open racing program. I see. So you can see here we have bringing the uh, resins from our partners, from mm -hmm. Panko, from BASF. We're trying uh, together to bring in the best solution in the market to our customer. You mentioned something. Yes. And I wanted to come back to it because <laughs> you, when you when you said something, can I open this? Yes, sure, for okay. sure. Okay, so you said the smart build plate. Yes. That's And that's this right here? Mm -hmm. Okay, how can I remove this? You just directly detach it. That's it? Try it. May I? Yes, please. Oh. It knows it, you see? It does know that. Yes. With this build plate, what makes it smart? Why is it called a smart build plate? So as you can see here, we had the really smart uh, IFRD tag here. Mm -hmm. So when the printer did the printing, all the processing data and the process data goes into this build plate. So once you finish the print, print on the build plate, you actually take it out from the printer. By the way, it's auto-locked, so you don't have to oh, good. deliver it okay. by yourself. It's not always going to be me being uh, able to take it out, yes. right? <laughs> and you're taking the plate here, touch the wash with the elbow, and you drop the plate over onto it. Good reach, by the then way. It will know the settings. Oh, uh, start washing. Oh, that's, that's fantastic. Also, exactly. oh, for traceability, you're not having to rely on an ecosystem communicating. It's yes. directly with the parts. Directly and with so the parts. You have parts on a build plate, yes. and all of that information is recorded yes. and taken with the parts exactly. as they travel. Yes. Oh, that's fascinating because that's really more similar to what a factory does. There's there's a, a, a receipt essentially yes. that travels with parts exactly. through an assembly line, and that's. That's cool that you brought that to the resin imagine, world. Imagine, imagine. Let's, for example, we have 20 printers, three post-processing uh, stations. If you're transmitting the receipt by network, it will be the disaster for the operator. <laughs> yeah. Oh, be mad. I cannot remember which one goes to which one. But the simplest thing, let's keep it in nature. You just carry the part, the build plate with you then the postal processing knows how to deal with it. Oh, I love that. Uh, you have parts out here. I want you to pick three parts that you think best display okay. <laughs> this machine's abilities. The capability, right? Yeah. So the first thing I want to present to you is right there behind you. It's actually our fake resting box. <laughs> <laughs> we have it looks pretty good, though, for yeah, fake. It looks like it's mold injected, right? May I? Yes, please. Oh, that's nice. We didn't do sanding quite a lot, only on the bottom you can see it proves that it's really a printed oh, part. Oh yeah, it is and a printed, okay. And here, and it can open the cap and look inside, you have to see the support. Oh, I see the supports, yes, yeah. exactly. One of the things though that was interesting, when you handed this to me, yes. because first I said, can you show me parts? And you're like, look <laughs> at this resin. I was like, oh, okay, we'll take a look at the resin. But this is a print. Yes. And it feels... Smooth, right? It's 
it's beyond smooth. It feels like an injection molded part. Exactly. How did we achieve that is because we, why we choose the DRP technology instead of LCD and others is to accurately control the light density we projected to the build plate. Uh, and we create an algorithm for advanced anti-aliasing function to make it super smooth over the surface. So you can it also- It seems to have done it. <laughs> yeah, you can also check the second part. That's my second favorite one. And okay. it's fully utilized the property of the resin itself. And, and you can see the quality, the print quality, the oh, smoothness. Oh, this is great. It's also great. That is what we wanted to bring to our customer. Anytime we can bring the cost per part down on something like a, a really nice mouse for yes. a computer, because I yes. remember the days when you would go get yourself a wireless mouse and it would be 150 US or yes, more. Yes, that's expensive. And, and now though, being able to create these sorts of really nice designs, uh -huh. the electronics aren't that expensive uh -huh. and companies can offer really affordable, in this case, mice yes. that perform well. Yes for not a lot of money because they've greatly reduced the price per part. For sure, and also it saves quite a lot from the investment for the mold. And you can see this is cannot be done by opening a mold, maybe it's kind of geometry. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't want to see someone try to attempt to mold this, like oh. that. that. <laughs> <laughs> but you can customize your own version, let's put a to telling logo or high five here. That's easy. Yeah, we'll make it in blue, my little logo here, and we'll make yes. it about 10% bigger yes. so it fits my fingers. And, yes, it's a little bit small for you. <laughs> but that's the beauty of, of additive. You don't yes. have to retool a machine in exactly. order to make it. You're just like, make it bigger. Yeah, we can make it like a distributed manufacturing. You just close to your printer, you get it, the final part. You just try to install a little bit of electronic, then you get everything. Oh, that's cool. That finished the product, right? Oh, I love that. I heard yes. there was a feature on this machine, software-wise, that really helps enable the production side of my, resin. My, my personal favorite, so I wanted to show you. So basically, we invented, it's a pattern protected uh, technology, we call it Magic Layout. Magic Layout, yes. Magic Layout. So you see we demonstrate the little part here, so you sliced once as a single part. Okay, so on the computer, in yes. Ray 3D Slicer, yes. you've sliced a single part, a single and you brought part. it to the machine, and it's on the USB stick. And you print, you both say, oh, well, this is a nice print. Please get me five pieces more of this. Then you have to rush back to your printer, go back here, back, force, back, force. But let's say, if imagine, you can just one click, then I push it here, I can move it around, and I can lay out it. Oh! Now you get a full plate. Oh, that's fantastic. When we think about the production side of things, yes. anytime that you can empower the people using the machines exactly. and, and allow them to do more give easily, them freedom. Give, you give them freedom. Oh, yes. that's great. Because you've already verified that that sliced file works. Yes. And now you're like, okay, I need 20, 50, 100 more. Yes. You hit that button and now these machines are taking that validated file and making it go. Exactly. Oh, Derek, that's cool. That's the goal we will try to bring and thanks to the hardware capability, we are able to produce same results, same quality on the, anywhere of the build plate. So that's why we could fully use this with our hardware, also our software to really get the engineer's work easy to be done. Oh, this is cool. So we've shown off these incredibly smooth models, and then you've empowered the people running the machines to be able to make one or many yes. of a validated part. Derek, people are really going to be excited about this and all of the value that you've packed in. I want you to look at the camera and tell them where they can go to find out more about this. Yes, we, we welcome everybody to go to web, our website to check for details for our new solution for the resin printing. And also, it's right now on pre-sales. Hope everyone really got a good deal before the end of this month. And more than that, we have new offices opening in uh, Texas, in Houston. We also welcome everybody to visit our uh, office to see what is actually bringing by this solution. There you go. Yes. Oh, thanks, Derek. Good. Well, let me wrap it up and then we do a high five. What do you say? No problem. Sweet. Yes. Well, if you made it this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Fight for a cause you believe in. Resin prints all the things. And as always, yes. high five. Nailed it. Yes, we did it. <laughs>